Hey guys, welcome back to Mechanical PE Exam Prep. If you'd like to be notified when I post new videos, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get the basics down before solving lots of problems, take my Udemy course, HVAC and Refrigeration Fundamentals. In less than five hours, you'll review all the major topics you need for the PE exam. By the end, you'll actually be excited to start studying. Now for part B, they ask, what is the cost of running the heat pump? So how do we want to approach the question of the heat pump operation cost? Well, you'll notice for each one of these rows, they told us how much power is required to operate the heat pump in KW, which is great. And we also know the number of hours per year that the outside conditions are at that temperature. So if we take KW times hours, we'll have kilowatt hours. And then we know the cost per kilowatt hour is 8 cents. So it seems like we can just multiply those three figures together and we will have the cost. But there is a key assumption in there, and that is that the heat pump is operating 24-7 or that it's operating during all those hours, which may not be the case. So let me write this down for clarity. So what I'm saying is that power to run the heat pump times the number of hours that it runs times the cost per kWh should give us the heat pump operational cost. But that assumes 24-7 operation. But for those first two rows that we analyzed, the capacity exceeds the demand. So we don't actually need to run the heat pump 24-7. In a given hour, we may only need to run it for a fraction of that time, maybe half an hour, or 20 minutes, or 40 minutes, depending on how much heat we need. We're going to overheat the space if we run it continuously when we don't need to, which you would never do. So let's analyze that first row again as an example, now focusing on the cost to operate the heat pump. We know that it takes 6 kW to run it, and that's going to be happening for some fraction of these 820 hours in the year. So if it was 24-7 operation, we would say 6 kW times the 820 hours times the 8 cents. And that would give us $394. But it's not that high because it's only going to run a fraction of the time. How do we work out what that fraction is? Well, we said earlier that the heat load when the temperature outside is 65 after you subtract out the internal loads, is only 13,930 BTUs per hour, which is much less than the capacity of 60,000. So that is the fraction. It's the ratio of the demand as compared with the capacity. Because if this thing only has one speed, right? You turn it on, the compressor stage is on, it's going to start pumping out 60,000 BTUs per hour. That's all it can do. It doesn't have a, as far as we know, it doesn't say that it has a variable speed compressor or that it has uh, any stages really. So we only really want less than a quarter of this thing's capacity. So it's going to run less than 15 minutes out of every hour is one way to think about it. It'll satisfy the space and it'll turn off and then it won't need to run for 45 minutes and then 45 minutes later it'll kick on again and that cycle will repeat as long as these outside conditions hold. So let's calculate what that ratio is. So in this case it's going to be Q dot 65 divided by Q dot capacity at that temperature, which I'm not going to write down, but I think it's implied that we need to use the capacity at that outside temperature. So in this case, that's going to be 13,929 BTUs per hour divided by 60,000, which equals 0.232, which is just a little less than 25%. And we'll multiply that times the $394. So in reality, since this thing doesn't need to run all the time, it does not cost $394. It only costs $91. And let's do the same thing for the second row and manually work out what the cost is going to be when the temperature is 60 outside. Because we had that scenario, coming back to the table, where we don't need to run the electric heat, so the capacity of the heat pump exceeds the heating demand. So again, we're going to be running it only a fraction of the time. That's going to change when we get to the next row. So the next one we want to look at is when the outside temperature is 60 degrees F. And we'll just do that calculation in one shot. We'll go straight across. So now the power required to operate is only 5.8 kW, according to the table. And the number of hours is 600. The cost of electricity doesn't change. And that ratio is a little more demand, 35,357, and a little less capacity, 55,000. I'm skipping the units there, but they're both BTUs per hour. And that equals $179.
Now when we get to the next row, the capacity of the heat pump is insufficient, so we have to add the electric heat. So at that point, the heat pump will run 24-7. And so the cost to run it will be calculated by multiplying the power, the hours, and the cost per kWh, and we won't need this ratio anymore because this will just be 1. It's going to run all the time. And I'll summarize those results here in a separate column. I've calculated those first two manually on the whiteboard, so you saw how that worked out. But these are a bit simpler because we don't have to account for that ratio. So it's simply the cost to operate times the number of hours times the cost per kWh, and it does run 24-7. So the cost gets lower and lower for a couple of reasons. One reason is because there's less and less hours. Another reason is because it takes less and less power to operate, and that drives this number down. But obviously, the electric heat cost in a lot of those rows is very high because you're making up for the fact that the heat pump can't get it done. So some pretty juicy numbers over here. And I could have easily added a column. They didn't ask, but if they wanted to know what's the total cost for both, we could just add a column here and add it up. And just one note as we're closing here, if you have the 101 Solid Mechanical Engineering Problems book and you're wondering why the values in this column are a little different than what's shown in the answer solution, I disagree with their solution. They took this logic about the ratio and they included larger and larger numbers in this column using the same reasoning that if it only has to run a fraction of the time, like in this example we said it has to run for less than 15 minutes out of the hour, when it flipped the other way, they calculated a cost that had it running more than it possibly can. So for example here, they had it making up the capacity above and beyond the 50,000 BTUs per hour. They had it making up this extra 6,700 and running, let's say, an hour and 10 minutes within the hour. So this cost would go up. But that's physically impossible. It can't run more than 100% of the time. And that's the whole point of this problem, is to illustrate that we're using the electric heat to make up the difference. So it ended up calculating a heat pump cost that was greater than 2,000 total. And we were in agreement about what those costs were when the electric heat did not kick in. But once the electric heat did kick in, my numbers are different from the solutions numbers. There's even a note in there that says these answers may not be reasonable. So I thought I'm going to give reasonable answers <laughs> if we're making a video about it. So hopefully that makes sense and gives you a good picture of how to think about the operation and the operational cost of using heat pumps for heating in climates where there are fairly cold temperatures outside for parts of the year.